Hello everybody, in this video I want to present my new semi-professional recycling gas chromatograph which assembled from leftover. During the lock time, a little bit more time to get more involved uh, in one of my favorite topics um, but the main reason was that since there were no parties, festivals or weddings the hardware store offered very cheap and pure helium 99.9% purity for just 33 euros and it's uh, one cubic meter helium that's very wonderful. Uh, my first idea was to record the video with the helium worth, but it seemed a little dubious to me. This gas chromatograph is a little less homemade and a little bit more professional than um, the other one I built. Uh, it can be used to analyze higher boiling analytes, um, like you used um, um, lab solutions like acetone, SNO, cyclic xane, um, um, some, yeah. Um, as you can see in the picture, um, there's a real um, capillary column, it's a PHG carbo wax capillary column, which I found um, in the west of my university. And the pipe wires connections are also from there. The only new part from the GC is the carrier gas and the semiconductor gas sensor. Let's start with the carrier gas. Um, the pressure is reduced to one bar, that's a little a bit too high for a capillary quorum, but I need this pressure so that the flow around the sensor um, makes an atmosphere around it, so there's no um, cross sensitivity to the, to the air in the room, so there's just a helium atmosphere around the sensor. Um, to put the uh, pressure reducer to the, um, the gas bottle, I had to drill a little bit a little bit on the connection. Um, in general you shouldn't drill or saw around a pressured container. That's very dangerous but uh, in every video the people say I don't try this at home or don't make this at home and nobody cares so anyway. After the pressure has been reduced the carrier gas enters the injector which is not heated um, and consists of a T-pipe with an um, septum. There's no split um, so only headspace analysis is possible, um, otherwise the column would be overloaded. For the sample application I used a 1 ml syringe. Um, the detector is a semiconductor gas sensor, um, which measures CO2 in the air and uh, volatile organic compounds. And um, I also said it, but it's necessary that the there is um, a helium atmosphere around the sensor so that you don't measure any um, organic, um, volatile organic compounds from, from your room or from your clothes or your breathing. Um, for this analysis I used one microliter headspace by room temperature, in this case 24 percent centigrade. Under the picture you can see what means headspace. Headspace means just um, the uh, area over the liquid where is an equilibration between the concentration of the um, concentration of your analytes in the in the solution and in the headspace. Uh, in, the in the chromatogram you can see um, for peaks the first peak is, uh, I think, CO2 from the headspace. The second is um, some pollutions or side products of the fermentation. The third peak is um, methyl or ketone. Or, and the third is uh, the ethanol, because it's the biggest peak. Um, the reason of uh, the polar column, the polarized compound, in this case, the ethanol remains the longest time in the column. Um, so I think um, not just the biggest and highest peak and all the latest peak have to be the ethanol. Thank you for your attention, stay healthy and goodbye.